Welcome viewers, in this video we will see the construction of transformer. Subscribe the channel for more videos and notification. Soft copy of this material available in the drive, the link is given in the description box. Now we will go to the topic. So the construction of the transformer, the basic two basic parts of the transformer are core and winding. The iron core is there over which the winding, the copper coils are winded. Now first we will see the core of a transformer. What is mean by core? The core of transformer is a square or rectangular in shape. It may be rectangular or square. This is called a yoke. This horizontal component is called a horizontal material is called a yoke. This vertical, vertical portion is called a limb. So both are joined together so that it form the either square or rectangular form. It is a laminated, laminated iron core. It is not a single piece like, like a paper, there are n number of sheets available. Thin sheets are there. All thin sheets are compressed together and form the, the iron core, core of the transformer. It is not a single, a single piece. It is there are n number of thin sheets are compressed together. All the thin sheets are laminated. There is no contact between each and every sheet all are laminated highly laminated so this we have the horizontal part and vertical part both are combined together both are added together joined together to form either the wet either the square or rectangular form vertical portion on which the winding is the wound is called limb top and bottom horizontal portion is called a yoke the core is made of high grade Silicon steel laminations, silicon steel laminations are there of 0.3 to 0.5 millimeter, very thin sheet to reduce the iron loss. Laminations are insulated from each other using the varnish, right. So, this like a thin sheet, all are ab about 0.3 to 0.5 millimeter thickness, all are, uh, all are insulated using the varnish and then it is compressed. There are two type of transformer available, core type and shell type. First we will see the core type transformer. So this is the core type transformer. We know that transformer we have this core. This is the core of the transformer. It is an iron core. N number of seats are available. So each and every line represent the, the separate thin, thin seats. All are compressed together and also it is varnished. It is insulated from varnish. We know that the transformer we have primary winding and secondary winding. So it is it is working on the mutual inductance, primary winding and secondary winding. So when the supply is given to the primary winding, the current is flowing. That current is alternating current so that flux is produced. That flux will follow the iron core. When the iron core is square, the flux also flux path also square. So, this dotted lines is nothing but flux. That flux linked with the secondary winding. Due to rate of change of flux, EMF is induced in the secondary winding. This is the working principle of the transformer, right? So, that in this, this N1 and N2 is nothing but number of turns available in the primary winding and N2 is the number of turns available in the secondary winding. So, in this core type transformer is the winding surround the core. Right? So, the windings are available. Over that, the cores are placed. The winding is the first part. Over the winding, the cores are one by one placed because already we, we discussed vertical and horizontal cores are horizontal portion available that are joined together and placed. It. So, we can easily remove the core. The winding is fixed available. Over the winding only, the cores are placed. In another type, it is reverse. Here, the coils are available, both the coils, over that the core is placed. So that it is called a winding surround the core. So it is one in which winding surround the core. It is made of lamination to form the rectangular or circular frame. Coil is available over which this rectangular or circular frames are placed. Windings are usually cylindrical or concentric type. We will see later what is a cylindrical winding and concentric winding. Low voltage windings are placed near the core. 
low voltage and high voltage windings are distributed over the two limb both over low voltage and high voltages are available on the two sides of the limb the main advantage is the coil can be easily withdrawn for the repair because the coil over which only the core is placed so that we can easily remove the core and coil easily so that any repair is there we can easily withdrawn for the for the coil and windings the second type this is a cell type transformer so cell type see that is a rectangular or a square iron core is available at the center limb both the primary and secondary winding is available in previous case the primary winding available at one end secondary winding available at the another end both are available on two different limb but it is in the same limb in the same center limb both primary winding and secondary winding is available right so this n1 is the number of turns available in the primary winding n2 is the number of turns available in secondary winding py refers primary winding sy refers secondary winding v1 is the voltage applied to the primary winding v2 is the voltage induced in the secondary winding so what will happen if the supply is given to the primary winding the alternating current is flowing due to alternating current flux is produced that flux link with the secondary winding due to rate of change of flux emf is induced in the secondary winding right in this method the core is available over that the coil is placed so if you want to remove the core or winding a can entire setup need to be removed the previous case the coil is there over which the windings the over which the core is placed now core is available in that core the windings are placed then if any repair is there we need to remove the winding as well as the core so the repairing of this material of uh, this type is uh, difficult compared to the previous case core type transformer right by seeing the diagram itself it is very clear the core over which the coils are available so the description is there this is one in which core surround the winding the windings are surrounded by the core the low voltage and high voltage windings are wound on the central limb of the core this is important thing in the previous case the core type transformer high voltage winding placed in one side low voltage winding placed in another side but here both low voltage and high voltage windings are placed in the center limb itself windings are normally normally of sandwich type sandwich means it is is added together the top and bottom windings near the yoke are low voltage windings right we will see what is mean by concentric winding what is mean by the sandwich type so the advantage is since the core surround the winding it provide mechanical protection to the winding so in the core type two windings are available in the two different places but the now in this method the windings are placed in the central limb itself one winding over which another winding is available so the mechanical protection is more but when the coils are to be removed for repair a large number of lamination to be removed right before any repair is there we need to remove the lamination entirely then only we can go for a repair then we'll compare this core type and cell type winding surround the core in core type but in cell type core surrounding the winding windings are cylindrical type windings of sandwich type we'll see what is the cylindrical or concentric what is sandwich in the next topic suitable for high voltage transformer because the the two windings are available in two different places primary winding available at one end secondary available available at another end there is no contact between primary and secondary winding only it is magnetically coupled so that it is available it is suitable for high voltage but in cell type over the winding another winding is placed so that it is suitable for low voltage transformer so because there may be a possibility of short circuit so this type used only for the low voltage transformers now we'll see the winding types concentric winding and and the sandwich type so this is the core available so the low voltage is there over which high voltage is available on both the side here also low voltage winding over which high voltage windings are placed this is called a concentric winding right 
the low voltage over which high voltage this side as well as that side these windings are used for core type transformer first type transformer each limb have group of coil having both primary and secondary turns concentrically winded so that is called a concentric winding the lv winding is placed next to the core and hb winding is on the outside see this the low voltage winding is placed on the core over which outside high voltage winding is placed low voltage is placed inside near by the immediately immediately to the core over which the high voltage windings are placed that is outside now we'll go to the sandwich type so sandwich type see this at the center limb first the low voltage winding is available after that high voltage winding is available then low voltage then high voltage then low voltage it is like sandwich right it is not overlapped this it is used for a cell type transformer the shaded portions are high low voltage winding the normal portion is the high voltage winding so low voltage and high voltage windings are sandwiched in this each winding is subdivided into section right low voltage winding here the three division available high voltage also three division available lb and hb sub subsection are alternatively put in the form of sandwich each high voltage section lies between the low voltage section right so in this we discuss about the construction of a transformer subscribe the channel for more videos and notification soft copy of this material available in the drive the link is given in the description box thank you for listening